What's up, folks? This your boy Mel from Lego Masters here, and I'm here with two of my best friends, best friends in the Marvel world, in the real world. There's Troy down there, and there's Jesse over there. <laughs> What's going on, Jesse? I am really excited about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's expanded. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody's on the spider spider train, and we've been planning a crazy collaboration for a few years now. <laughs> Indeed, indeed, indeed. My man Troy, my man Troy. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm finally ready to display with you guys. You know, we started this back in what, 2019? Yeah. yeah. We started planning and building this. So right. yeah, really excited originally for Brick World to Chicago. But we're doing it at Bricks Cascade. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely easier for me. But uh yeah, I'm really excited. You West Coast guys, you know, I always know how to how to pull pull the anchor on stuff, right? Man, <laughs> I got the I got the fly all the way from BWY, all the way on the West Coast. Um, you know, boom, my stuff will be in the mail very soon. Um, so let's talk about it for a minute, man. Like you know, I, I, I've been to Bricks Cascade. Troy, you haven't. Jesse, you haven't. Um, it's going to be a packed house because Portland always shows out for that show. You ready for that, Jesse? Like a little bit of questions, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. We got Lego Masters in the house. We got season two people uh, probably co coming together and drawing their own crowd, which is great. And uh, you know, uh, everyone in this Lego community is so nice for the for the most part. It's uh, you know, it's it's one of those sports where you're like that that mock right there. That's the one I want to show off, like. You did it. You you know, like you did it right. Yeah, indeed, so, indeed, man, indeed. How about you, Troy? Are you are you just a little bit excited? Like you know, I mean, are you are you nervous? I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a big crowd, man. I'm I'm not nervous at all. I'm just you know, I Jesse and and uh, Brick Hunter and I did one did kind of the same thing at Bricks LA. So you know, it uh, it is what it is. I mean. <laughs> You come there, you you try and do your best as far as uh, bringing your A game with your builds, and uh, you know even if you don't, you just come in there to have fun and hang out with people. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be meeting a bunch of new people and seeing people that I've already met or know, you know. So that that's why I like these shows is you know coming to the shows, meeting people, interacting with people. Uh, maybe doing a game or two. I, we definitely, you and you, us as a group, definitely need to do a couple games together. So yeah, that, yeah. that that kind of thing is going to be fun for me <laughs> personally. Sign up for the games. That's right. We got to sign up for the games, man. Sign up for games. Game. Where's that? You know, especially That's those fun. park piece, those park games, man. I want to play those. You know, those those park games where you win stuff, like a whole bunch of stuff. I want to well, yeah, it's free Lego. You, no matter what, what you win or lose, you still get to keep the stuff. So <laughs> all set, big set. Stuff. I'd say if, if I have one thing to be nervous about, it's mm -hmm. transportation. Ah, we've yes. got we've got planes, trains, and automobiles going on here. And hey, this is hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like I'm back at back to school. Was it uh, back to school rock or something like school, yeah. school, rock, yeah, school rock, right? So yeah, Mel's gonna fly. Troy is gonna drive, and I'm taking a train to. That's Bruce true. Day, I didn't even so. realize that. <laughs> uh, the collaboration of planes, trains, and automobiles, is it, and and how your mock travels. So I did a video on my channel unpacking my thing, but I hadn't wrapped it yet. So I'm really thinking I got more bottle bubble wrap today. I'm gonna saran wrap the heck out of it, and uh, the transportation and how it survives on a train for me is like a whole experiment. I had you know I don't know anybody that has taking a mock in their luggage on a train before so hopefully it shows up in uh, a state that I can recreate it <laughs> all right, all right. I think okay to, just to add to that I think uh, the other thing that I'm a little worried about not just the builds getting there but the lighting because some of those wires are incredibly thin and if it gets pinched in the slightest way during transport, you're done. 
unless you have a soldering iron with you to fix it. So that I think not just the build, but the lighting that we're putting into these builds is a little is sketchy for me. <laughs> so hopefully we we make it. So Jesse, talk about uh, talk about the collab. I mean, what are we bringing? Well, we've got an idea from a while ago for Into the Spider Verse where we thought we could take different multiverses of uh, Spider Man and bring uh, a city together that's kind of glitching on all sides. And uh, it starts off with my Miles Morales universe where it's present day, uh, just like in the movie. Uh, Spider Gwen and Spider Noir and Spider Ham and Penny Parker all meet Miles Morales and help help uh, defeat the Kingpin. So, for my for my part of the the present Miles Morales universe, I built the Fisk Tower and uh, uh, Visions Academy and some other stuff. But this is that's what I'm taking with me to Bricks Cascade. And then the idea was to have. Uh, Mel and the glitching go to the future for Cyberpunk, Penny Parker, and I'll let you describe more, uh, but you got Spider-Man 2099, and then have a past element where Troy can do Spider-Noir and Spider-Ham, which is kind of Looney Tunes, you know, uh, classic cartoony stuff, and and uh, it's, it's going to look good, I hope. Uh, all three of us are putting it together for the first time in Portland. Yeah, indeed, man. Definitely epic, man. And, and I tell you what, this, I'm nervous because, you know, not so much of the crowds and everything. I've been there, done that. Like, you know, whether it was Lego or not related. Um, but more of like stepping up my game for you guys. Like, I know that, like, you know, like I, I'm honored to be in the, you know, in the same conversation with you two because you guys are predominant, like, you know, very dominant uh, 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 builders in the community. So I'm like, man, I got to, you know, and, and, and Granted, I'm slow building because I'm I'm trying to get this right. I don't I don't want to I don't want to rush anything. And like I said, at the same time, I'm trying to polish everything off, polish it off. That way, you know, it, it we look good as a, as a team. You know, so I'm a little bit you know a little bit nerve wracking, a little bit nervous. You know, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Troy said it earlier. We've collabed, we've collabed and had conversations, and we've done speed builds on versus virtually so it, it's almost a collaboration theme wise where we take an idea and kind of you know poke at each other for for challenging each other and and it should should work out in the end yeah oh yeah man oh yeah definitely. there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable <laughs> builders yeah yeah so um Something that was on, 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 you know, what I'm responsible for is the, is the Spider-Man 2099 and the Penny Parker. So, and, and it's tough, man. That was tough. Let me say that was tough because I, you know, I looked up Penny Parker and I couldn't find Jack, but her and that stinking mech. That's it. So, <laughs> I found, I found one, one comic book, like, sheet, like, or, or, like, I guess it was from a comic book. It was her and that mech. And behind her was like a very red cyberpunkish city. So I'm like, oh, all right, I'll, I'll just pull from here. But there's nothing, man. I, I I was looking, I couldn't I couldn't find nothing. And so, um, you know, I that you know kind of left it up to interpretation. That's what got me scared because I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing to go off of. Like the Avengers Tower, it's like, all right, that's the picture of it. Okay, cool. And all I'm doing is matching matching shapes and, and, and getting it going. But like that one there, I'm like, oh, okay. Even like with Spider Man 2099, I'm I'm looking at you know looking at some comic books and stuff like that. You, you see it, but you never really see it. So, I mean that that kind of helps a little bit. So it's like a double edged sword, you know. I can I got creativity, room for creativity, right? Well, it's ironic uh, that the you know uh, that character is going to be in the next movie. Right. So hopefully we'll see more and and maybe have inspiration to collaborate again. So and you know, the, 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 I wouldn't worry too much about it, Mel, because like you know, we're all kind of just getting inspired by the movie. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly from from the comics, because you know, like with with what mine is, which is uh, you know, more dominantly uh, based on the Spider-Man Noir universe. There is a little bit of the Spider-Ham element at the very end, but mine is definitely more dominating with the Spider-Man Noir 
you know, all the buildings are black and white. You know, I'm creating this small little street scene where it's all inclusive, all black and white, and it's it's a complete it's a complete scene. You know, something that you might see right out of the comic books, you know, kind of thing. So, um, and I I got inspired by some of the the strips, some of the buildings in the comics, but I didn't you know do it you know brick for brick or detail for detail. I I really just got inspired and uh you know did my own thing i mean you know that i think that's one of the things that you can do with lego is you know kind of just put your own twist on it so we'll say it, we'll say it. We'll say it. i like that because i had to be creative with mine too but um i had a lot to draw from from the movie being you know in present day so when they went to fist tower they were mostly inside the building but there's you know they were up on a crane looking down and they, they'd show some of the banquet hall in Fisk Tower, and it just looked like this classic Rockefeller Center building to me. So I kind of took that uh, tiered building look, and uh, I wanted to put a unique element into one of my builds. So if you look closely at my tower, I'll spoil the fact that the, the, one of the huge facts about my build is that there are Thor hammers built in as rock work, and I, I bulk ordered 500 Mjolnirs, so I have 500 Thor hammers built into the into the building of Fisk Tower. So you gotta look, it, you gotta look look for that detail when you when you see us. Oh, man, this thing sounds incredible, man. You know what? I think I think we're coming for that championship belt, boom. I think you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think we're coming coming for that belt. <laughs> what, whatever little uh little bricks cascade awards they got uh wow. you know usually is it about <laughs> mel wants the belt <laughs> <laughs> I, it's really nice being honored like uh by your peers being chosen as some sort of you know uh, uh, award-winning thing so whether it's a theme build or a collaboration uh effort uh It'll, it'll be fun just hanging out with you guys, really. Yeah, it'll be fun. You know? Yeah, it, it would be nice to, to win, but honestly, I think even even seeing what we've done already, I'm going to be proud of us regardless. So uh, we put a, a lot of work, a lot of brick, a lot of time into it. I think we all are going to do great, and, uh, and we can't forget about the collider either, the super collider oh, yeah, that we're going to have under the table. <laughs> Are you spoiling that'll be, that's who gonna be, gonna be gonna be crazy. It's gonna, gonna be sure pretty epic. Really we gotta make sure that thing is lit up. We gotta, I got we gotta go to Walmart to go buy a spotlight. Hey, if you guys can help me out with that, that would be much appreciated. I mean that way people can see it, man, because that collider, that's that's the that's the gem of the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the whole that's what created all of this chaos. So it's a pretty important part of the of the build. Of the collaboration, I think so. Yeah, man. Thanks for taking that on. I know that was something that we were all gonna. That was gonna yeah, be like yeah. the melting point as we all work on yeah. one element. Yeah. But that as time was, dragged on, we had to just like. We yeah, wanna get it done, man. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't fathom the thought, man. I was like, man, I was trying to see, but I couldn't see. I'm like, man, this a train track. Yeah, I mean that that's okay. I had I had a vision for a complete vision of the yeah. entire thing in my head already. Cool, man. So, um it's yeah. it's all right. It's all right. As that thing came along too, yeah, you know, like it's got to hold itself together. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of pictures, man. Let's take lots of pictures. Of it. Lots of pictures, lots of video, lots of pictures. And it is only a cutout like half of a half of what it actually is. You know, I wasn't able to get both sides, unfortunately, but I think it'll still get a good picture across on what it is, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, should be exciting. But it's Cascade 2022. I can't wait to see you there. You and you. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. Oregon, here we come. Here we Cascade. Come. 